Anthony came from New Jersey. Everyone called him Tony. He was Italian by descent and had two brothers and two sisters. They grew up in a three-family house. His grandparents lived on the first floor. His family lived on the second floor, and they rented the third floor. His mom, Carmela, and dad, Vincent, had their bedroom. All the boys shared another bedroom, and his sisters shared another. When they were young, this arrangement was fine. As they got older, privacy became important. Eventually, the girls moved downstairs with their grandparents. Tony was the oldest. His family did not come from the rich side of town. They came from the other side of the tracks. Tony's father worked in a union shop and made good money. They made ends meet. Tony's father walked to and from work each day, regardless of the weather. There were no fancy vacations each year. Tony started working at the local grocery store delivering groceries at a young age. He was the eldest son and needed to help his family. They needed his help. Tony's mother was a strict Italian woman. She taught Tony self-respect and how important it was to respect others. Their father didn't own their first car until Tony was 13 years old. It was used, but in good shape. He bought what they could afford. In the old neighborhood, the fish man came by once a week. People could buy fresh fish right off the truck. Groceries were delivered by the local market, and the milkman delivered milk daily. Tony did exceptionally well in high school. He graduated first in his class. There was no money for college. Tony received a small scholarship, and the remainder was financed through student loans. He was attending college for architectural engineering. He was in his junior year of college and made the dean's list every semester since he was a freshman. Tony was not a flashy dresser. There was no money for that. Tony didn't date much in high school. He was always working and studying. He was considered a nerd or a geek. He was an average-looking man, reserved and shy. However, once someone got to know Tony, it was clear that he had a great personality. Tony's had very little self-confidence. He could approach a girl, but when it came to asking her out, he simply froze and walked away. Tony feared rejection and never learned how to approach a girl. He was halfway through his junior year at college. He noticed Jill towards the end of his freshman year. He was spellbound. When he started his sophomore year, he roamed the campus looking to see if Jill had returned. Because they had different majors, they never shared any classes together. He never had the opportunity to casually meet her. The first time he noticed Jill, she was in the library, and then again in the student center. His heart pounded every time he saw her. He could not get the courage to approach her. A sad situation since this had now been going on. Her background was completely different. She came from California. Her father, Frank, was a prominent attorney. She came from money. She lived in a beautifully landscaped home. Jill had a twin sister, Callie. They each had their own bedroom with their own bathroom. There was a large built in swimming pool in the yard. Her parents entertained and hosted many parties at their home. They were members of the golf club, lake club, and other social organizations. Jill was raised learning respect. Unlike her sister Callie, she never acted like a rich snob. Or of a sorority and served on many student committees. Jill was outgoing and social, 
but Tony always wondered why he never saw her with boys on a date. What Tony did not know was Jill did not trust men any longer.